Hi everyone. Um, hope you're all doing well on this Tuesday afternoon um, and hope the sun is shining wherever you are too. Um, so we're just getting ready here now to do the next in our series of Tempted Talks um, and we will have Bridget from Belle Femme. Um, joining us and Belle Femme is a fantastic fantastic lingerie shop uh, in Kilkenny and I've known Bridget years Um, she's just joined us here so I'm going to join her in but I've known Bridget years and she just has the knack when it comes to to, to Raz so we're going to have a good chat with um with uh, Bridget and I hope you all enjoy it so let's see can I get her live here hold on a second So we should hopefully be live with uh, Bridget in a sec. Hi. Hi, Hi Rosemary. How, How are, are you? you? Good, <laughs> thanks. Good. Actually, I might close this down. Yeah. It's so hard to get the right um, yeah. angle on the blind, isn't it? It's Very. Like, I'm here with the same with the curtain. I'm back and forth, back and forth. But what's the best <laughs> way? Um, but look, it's great to have you today. Thanks so much. Um, I just know that, like, literally... Um, people have so many thoughts and queries and everything on bras and I know that you're the right person for the job on it. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Thanks for having us on. Really appreciate that. Oh, good, good. So Bridget, how long have you been involved in lingerie? Where, where did it all start for you? Um, well, it started, I suppose, with myself. Okay, um, I couldn't get that proper fitted bra. Um, I always felt that the bra was rising up my back. I was never comfortable. You know, I would have that gape in my shirt or, you know, when you wear a dress or you wear a t-shirt and you just have that block. I could never, I, I never looked right or I was never happy in photos. Um, and so it kind of started from there. I started researching it. Um, wanting to kind of find out why couldn't I get that proper bra? Why was I never comfortable? I didn't think that I had this fuller cup. Um, I felt that um, like I, I should be able to get a bra. Um, and so when I started researching it, I realized that one, we're all getting fitted with a measuring tape. Um, two, any report that I read at the time about lingerie and how us women wear it, that there was nearly 90% of us in the wrong bra. So I kind of really researched it from there and then I wanted, I knew that when I wanted to open up the shop, I wanted it to be different. And so I went to the UK and I learned how to fit lingerie without the use of a, of a measuring tape. Um, okay. And so I suppose in some ways I fit with my eye. Um, I was trained to you know, kind of look at the body and understand the body. Um, you know, when we, like, like I've been fitted with the measuring tape, and like, as I said, it was never right. Um, but when I go into a fitting room, when somebody comes into my fitting room and I'm in there with them, I have to look at the body, I have to look at your back, I have to look at your cup. Because actually, Rosemary, if we stop for a second and actually think about it, a measuring tape cannot measure the volume of the breast. It can never tell you your breast size. Yeah. Um, and so when you when you come into ourselves, we fit you. Um, we work actually from your back first because you have to think about it. The breast is held up by the shoulder. The strap is held by the shoulder, but the weight of the breast, be a fuller cup or a neater cup, is held on your back. So the yeah, back needs to be sense. good and firm. Yeah. Um, and so your back has to be good and firm to hold the front and um, to make sure that they're level. And, and I suppose kind of that's where we all go wrong um, because we do have the, those loose backs. And so that's kind of how Belle Femme Lingerie came about. So I and trained. Just how, how hard is it to like, how hard is it to judge based on looking as opposed to using a tape? Because so many places you go, the tape is around the neck and here they go and they, they you know, they measure you and they go, oh yeah. yeah, no, I think this will be this. And like that's been, apart from yourself, that's been my experience of, of getting fitter for a bra. Yeah. And look, it's, it was mine as well until I trained. Um, what yeah. I always found as well, which is something that cannot happen. You can't walk into a fitting room and somebody hand you the brand, say, try that on. And I'll come back there in about, you know, 20 minutes and see what it's like on you. Because we have to bear in mind every bra, every style, even colors can change the size. So like black can okay. sometimes fit, fit tighter than white. 
Um, so you really have to have somebody in a fitting room with you actually fitting you because we are all different. We are, you know, some of us have um, like a concave chest where the chest kind of comes in a little bit. You know, sometimes they could, like a bra should always sit against the chest bone, but there could be a certain, um, you know, there could be one person that the bra might have to sit out. For example, if you were wearing a non-wired bra for the last 20 years and you decided you wanted to get into wired, then that's a little bit harder. You have to train, you know, the breast back into a wired bra okay okay um but but yeah and so uh belle femme lingerie is based in kilkenny for nine years we're fitting for the okay. last nine years we've fitted thousands of women the length and the breadth of the country um and that's kind of where it all started brilliant brilliant and like i mean we all i suppose know the importance of a good bra like i mean it's you know everyone would say oh yeah yeah like you know when i have my good bra on and you know and all of that i suppose what in in say in tempted what we would see is people say oh when i have my good bra on now that'll be you know, I'll be a bit lifted and, and that. But like, what else can a good fitted bra do for you apart from, I suppose, give you a bit more of a waist? <laughs> okay, we'll start with the very first problem that we find is, you know, a, a bad bra is so uncomfortable. Yeah. It, and it will be at you for the whole day. So your mind is pulling and dragging at your bra. So when you put on a bra, it sh it sh you should just put on your bra and walk away from it and it should be comfortable on you. But the main thing about a bra is, it, it, so anybody that's a fuller cup that is suffering from back, neck and shoulder pain, yeah. they're... There it is. There's your, we, you can start with your bra um, okay. and you can, so if anybody's listening now and they are kind of suffering from back, neck and shoulder pain, the first thing I'd say to you to do is go up and see where is your bra. So is it up your back? Because if it is, you're carrying all the weight of that breast on your neck and shoulders. So that's okay. the first thing. So we would work very closely with a lot of physiotherapists. They would send a lot of clientele to us um, for us to see their bras if they were any way fuller. And we will always change everybody out of the bras that, that, that we have, a, that they wear on a day to day basis. And we will put them more, more than likely into a tighter fitting bra. And that's what I'm saying about that measuring tape. It seems to be measuring everybody looser on the back. You've okay. experienced of that, Rosemary. I, yeah. I tightened you up as well. Yeah. Um, and, I, and, I, <laughs> and, and that's the, I suppose, like there's so much to do, you know, there's so much in lingerie. It's not like buying a pair of shoes or it's not like buying a dress. A bra is for you. Um, it's fitted for you, your shape. You know, like we hear in the fitting room so many times, um, oh, right, okay, I'll give that bra now to Mary. She, she'd love it. You can't pass your bra on. You <laughs> Stop doing that. She can't get that bra. You have to just get your bras, wear them. And if they don't fit you any longer, they do have to go into the bin. You know, it's like everything, right? You know, you go out on Saturday night and you might have a pair of shoes on you and you have a dress on you. And everybody looks at it and everybody will comment on it and everybody will say, oh my God, where'd you get it? And so on. But nobody talks about lingerie or nobody talks about a bra. And, it all, and to be honest with you, your outfit actually works from the inside out yeah 100%, so, yeah yeah and it does like mm. you can start with your own confidence if you're wearing a matching bra and a brief in the morning the inner confidence you get from that feeling of having something lux luxurious on underneath you and then you put on your top and you're in a proper fitted bra and the top sits right an actual proper fitted bra can take about seven pounds off you yeah like and, and, that's and from what you're saying that makes sense because yeah you know, like so many, like, I, I think it's so funny now with all the, you know, the memes going around about, oh, you know, like having worn my bra now in 10 days or whatever, day 10 of quarantine, you know, no bra for 10 yeah. days. And I'm kind of thinking to myself, that says a lot about your bra. Like, because, yeah, you know, like in, in my thoughts, I suppose, I've always felt you should really put it on and hardly know that it's, that, you know, yes. it, you know, that it shouldn't be digging into you. It shouldn't be doing any of that. Do you know what I mean? No, like, and right. it shouldn't. Yeah. But so if you if you come to me, so like if I go like if, if a customer comes into me in the morning and they're in the, the wrong bra, they're in a loose bra and they all of a sudden get fitted by me, it will be tight because remember what I said at the start, you have to if you're coming from your like and I suppose I always compare a bra to a pair of shoes. If you're wearing your slippers around the house all day and you go into a pair of high heels at night time. You know, you are going you to feel it. <laughs> yeah. So when you come into us in the morning and you get fitted for a bra after you in a bra that never supported you, you are going to feel it. So you do actually have to break a bra in. Very rarely somebody will come into me and into the fitting room and we put them, put them into a... It's lovely in the fitting room now.
because you're only ever there for five minutes. And when you go home, the bra does feel tight as the day goes on. And But the more you wear it and the more you hand wash it, the more the looser it gets. So my advice to a lot of people is, especially now, right, what we should all do is go up into our bedrooms and clear out our top drawer and actually start putting on our bras and realising how bad they are. And when you come into me then, you will get fitted in that firm fit. And as, as you train yourself into it, she'll mould to the shape of your body. But you have to stay out of your old bras while you're training yourself into your new bras. Because if you wear a new bra today that's lovely and tight, and you go into your old one tomorrow and it's lovely and loose, you know, it's very hard to get used to it. So once you make the decision to say, right, the bras, I'm going to train, you have to stay and you have to go with your new ones. And by day five, by day six, it will be a lovely, soft, comfortable, well-supported bra. Because that's what I was going to ask you, I was going to, how long does it take to get yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. five days. Okay. Yeah, about five days. And, and how often should we be getting fitted for a bra? And this is something that I think has shocked everyone. We should be fitted for a bra every six every six months, five, six, seven months. Um, even seven months is kind of pushing it, about every six months. Because if you go, if you put on a half a stone or you lose a half a stone or your body changes, your bra does not go with you. You have to change it. Um, you know, we're all guilty of packing the wardrobe, the drawer up of lingerie. You know, we buy a bra because, oh, that's a beautiful color and we it no more fits us, but the color is nice. Um, but we have to remember that when you put that bra on with, with an outfit, it's not going to look good. It's going to, you're not going to have that nice shape. So every six months, we really should get fitted. It's so important to, you do have to have that black, white and nude in the wardrobe. Okay. You do have to have a little bit of colour to put a smile on our face every now and again. But wear them. And the more you wear them, the more support you get. And then about every six months, you change them. You get refitted. You might stay the same. It's very... I was going to say, like, if, if, you're, if you're not, say, losing weight or putting on weight, do yeah. you find much change? Yeah, you know, there's. I have customers that come in and they very rarely change. And I have customers that will change every six months. Because okay. you also have to remember as well, even if you don't change, the elasticity of the bra goes. Yeah. So I'll just show you. Like, see here, this is the band of a bra. Okay, here, sorry now. Across here is the band of the bra. Yeah. And so you're stretching that around the body. And the more you stretch that around the body, the more, the, the looser the bra gets. And so even if you didn't change, your bra still, you know, it's going to get loose. So in six months time, if you're wearing your bras, the support will be gone from them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, the way when you, on the back of the bra, you've got like the three sets of hooks, say, well, on my ones, they have three sets of hooks. So when you're buying the bra, where, where should an ID be sitting? On, like on the, like the furthest out, the second or the, the nearest? Which yeah, so everybody calls this a little bit different, the further out or the nearer or yeah, whatever. Sorry. So there's the back of the bra. Okay, yeah. so that's around your back now. So you should always be fitted here. That's okay. on the third, in this particular case, in this bra, this is the third hook and up. Okay. And as the bra gets looser, you move in. You move in. Along. Okay. So if you can, if you buy a bra in the morning and you're straight in here, yes. then you have to remember that that bra is too loose on you. And so okay. a bra can only get looser. So, so that's not going to last you very long. Then. No, no. Okay. So always out here and then move in as you wear it. And it okay. should be tight. And again, when you buy a pair of shoes, you have to break it in. You have to break a bra in. It's hand wash, drip dry, put it on you. The first day you'll be fit to kill me because it'll be that firm. Um, I'm sure, Rosemary, you've experienced that too. <laughs> You yeah. like literally kind of would, like I I remember when like the first time I ever got fitted with me it was like as if um I don't know just there was like this whole catch going on on me like I felt as if, oh okay, kind of yeah. take a, a full breath but literally that that lasted like so short a time and then yeah. I could see do you know what I mean that I was do you yeah. know what I mean that I was that I was right in in a bra um, yeah. You know, and like I suppose the the other thing I suppose when you see you know the thickness of the straps and things like that, are they like you know obviously as the the cup size goes up, you can see the straps getting thicker. Is, yes. is that so that you can get the support? Yes, yeah. Right. So that's not down. Like lots of people will come in to me and say to me, Bridget, now you know I want a, a a slim strap or I want a thick strap or I want you know it's all down to your cup size. It's not something that I can pick. I go into the fishing room, I, I, I'll size you, I, I'll give you advice, and then I'll go and show you a few bras. 
Okay. And that sits with your, your, your shape and that work for you and that will give you support and for what you want as well. You know, somebody comes in to me and they say to me, Bridget, I have a work bra, I need a work bra, then I will fit for a bra that will nearly go with 90% of your wardrobe. But to okay. bear in mind, one bra does not go with everything. Okay, and that's okay. a habit we all get into, where we think, oh, look, I have a black Morgan bra. It'll go with everything, and that's perfect. And then you put on a dress, and it didn't work. And some people can be disappointed because they bought a new bra, and they've picked a dress. But the thing is, not every bra, you know, you have, you've a, you've a, a variety of clothes in a wardrobe. And so one, you don't have one pair of shoes that goes with everything. You can't have one bra to go with everything. Um, and so we have a T-shirt bra, that I suppose if I had my way, I'd put them all into a bonfire and burn them all because this okay. is a t-shirt bra, right? See, that's smooth. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. that's a t-shirt bra. And okay. so anyone that's a fuller cup, that's nearly wearing a t-shirt bra at the moment. So I'm talking nearly from a G cup up, double F, G, double G, H, double H, and so on. Okay. You're not getting supported by that t-shirt bra. Um, we all need one, um, but we all need one but it, you have to stop fitting. You have to stop wearing it at a certain cup size because it does nothing for us. It's one of those bras that you will always be handed in a bigger department store when you're being fitted. Yeah. Where I would recommend um, if you are on your G's and double G's and H's that you wear a cloth bra. So this is what I mean, like a, a stitch and sew bra. Um, just just so, with, with, the, with the, um, the t-shirt bra, is that where you end up kind of seeing almost like four boots? Yes, when and, the wrong fish. <laughs> yeah, completely. Um, uh, you can see four bo boobs in any bra if it's okay. wrong. Um, <laughs> but in the t-shirt bra, yes, you can. And what it is is the t-shirt bra is pre-molded; it's pre-built, so it can't lift the breast. Okay, you know what I mean. So if you have that fuller cup, you need lift, you need shape, and so the t-shirt bra just doesn't; it just won't do it for you. And so you you you'll find that you're like what I said at the start. You get that blocky look. Um, yes. I try and stay away from the fish of it because even if I sell it to somebody, they'll come back. And I'm always saying it to them. I'd say, look, I'm, I'm not a lover of this bra on you, but I know you need it for the stress or you need it for that. And that's fine. But I would prefer to see people that have that fuller cup in a stitch and sew bra, which is this. Okay. Which is that kind of that Morgan bra um, for the fuller cup. You have a side panel. Um, and so a side panel pushes the breast in, makes it nice and neat and tidy. Now, just um, literally, the minute you said stitch and sew, I thought, this is going to be ugly, right? Yeah, so straight off. Yeah. That was my first yeah. thought. And, like, literally, the bra you've just shown there is gorgeous. Like, yeah, it is. Like, it's got a gorgeous yeah. pattern. Like, it's, it's lovely. That's, yeah, that's their black bra. You have a nice little bit of lace detail. Yeah. You know, it's we... Lovely. we yeah, it is lovely. And we have lovely bras. And that was the one thing that I really said to myself when I was going to open the lingerie shop is that, yes, I have the black, I have the white and I have the nude, but I was going to have color in our shop. Yeah. Um, and it, look, it's a pity that we're closed at the moment because we have some amazing color. Mm -hmm. um, for this season, it was really strong. It was fantastic. Um, you, you can see it on our, on our website. You'll see, you know, if you go in and look at the bras, there, there's some nice color that was brought yeah. in for spring, summer. Oh, we'll be wearing the color yet, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Like, look at this. This is for a fuller cup. And okay. see the detail of that. And so you is know, that line down there? That's what you mean by the stitch and so? That's, yeah. And that's the, that's the line for the side panel to give okay. you the support to push the breast in. Okay. So is that what yeah. you want to do? You want to literally push the breast in? Yeah, you want, like, you don't want to be Madonna, but, you know, that Madonna <laughs> cone look. But what you do want is just that nice kind of, um, you know, when you're, when you're standing at the side, that the breast is in, that you don't have the, the, the breast sticking out of the side as well, that you get that neat look, that it's going with your body. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, the, so for a fuller cup, that's really what you're looking for regardless yeah, you are. Like okay. everybody, everybody is different. Everyone's different. And that's why you have to fit for your shape and your body. Um, yeah. And so I would always put somebody that has a fuller cup into those type of bras, you know, because uh, I'm guaranteed that you will be happy when you go home to your wardrobe and you start putting on things. Um, every time I sell a t-shirt bra above a cup size that I don't like, I will always say to the person, look, do we really need it? Is the first thing I'd say. The second thing I'd say to them is, okay, Take it, but just bear in mind, it will not give you the same shape 
as the, the, the stitch and lace, as a stitch and sew. Um, and, and people understand that when it's explained. And that's really the most important thing because when we do go into a fitting room, we do rely on and we trust our fitter yeah. to fit us. But what I would say to you is, you know, actually at the moment, Rosemary, I think we're the only people in Ireland that fit without the use of a measuring tape. Yeah, I've never I, seen it anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, I have trained all my staff um, to fit without the use of the tape. And, you know, it's, it's an experience. Getting fitted for a bra is an experience. It is a piece of clothing that we actually put on us every single day of the week. It's something that we forget about. You know, there's not, uh, you, and it is, you know, like as I said to you, because nobody talks about it, but everybody will comment on it if you, if you know, if it doesn't look, you know, if you're it wearing a dress. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, and I always say to people, if you're buying shapewear, if you go into the shop in the morning and you're picking up shapewear to go with your dress, it is pointless buying shapewear if you don't have a good bra. Yeah. Be because you're pulling in your, your tummy area or your bum or whatever it is, but you still have the breast that's just not sitting right. Like what we would hear all the time when people are trying on, they go, oh, when I have my good bra on, you know, yeah. and so to me, then that means that they're saying, well, on an, on an everyday basis, I don't wear a good bra or I don't wear my best bra. So how, like, if we're going to have good bras, how many should you have in your wardrobe that if you're going to wear a good bra every day, like how many would you need to have to kind of make that happen and make that work for you? Bear yes. in mind that you're going to have to change them after six months. Yeah, so like what I would say to you is like one on you, one in the wash and one in the drawer. Right. Okay, okay, so that's that's yeah. three. So if somebody came in to me in the morning and their whole wardrobe had been cleaned out and they were starting over again, I would actually say to them, you have to start with the black, white and nude because we all need it. Yeah. Um, and then I would always say add a bit of colour, just one piece of colour. So four brass. You will always yeah. find three to four. And if you can't afford three or four, one is enough as well. Just <laughs> wear it up. and wash yeah. it and build yeah. it up. So you don't have to be forced into get three or four bras. You you get like one good bra is better than ten bad bras at home. Um, yeah. So you know what I would say to you is, um, hand, like everyone's different in how they care for their bras, but on a on a scale, yeah. of some of us are not so great. I'd say, yeah, myself yeah. included. <laughs> so if you put your bra into the washing machine you will be back to me a lot sooner because the washing okay. machine destroys the bra. It, it takes the structure out of the bra. Okay. And like these are good, proper fitted bras. So, you know, they have been fitted for your shape and next thing all of a sudden you're throwing them into the washing machine that's spinning around and doing all yeah. sorts. Um, it's taking the shape away from the bra. Even when um, you put in a pillowcase, say. No, because the bra is still moving. So everyone okay. asks. You're not giving me yeah. any get out here no, at all. No, Get to the sink, Rosemary, and wash your bras. That's the end of it. And listen, you've loads of time now. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Um, and so, and like now is the really good time to clear out our drawers, our top drawers. Like all that, like I put my hand up and here am I preaching to you about making sure. I went through my lingerie drawer this week and it was frightening the amount of bras that I had in there. Now I've just had a baby. So I've kind of, I have gone through so many bras in the last nine months that it's it's crazy. And so I've it all cleared out and I have what fits. And, you know, it's also good to have a good sports bra. Don't use your bras um, when you're um, out walking or, you know, if you're going for a, a, a slight stroll, yes. But if you are running or you're in the gym or you're doing any exercising like that, you do need to get yourself a good proper sports bra. Okay. Um, because it, it it stops the breast from, you know, getting stretch marks and it protects what, what the breast is held up by is um, three Cooper ligaments and it protects those. Um, okay. So really important to get a sports bra when you are exercising. Okay, and I know you go up to really good back sizes and really good cup sizes. Like, mm -hmm. like do, they, do they come, like for sports bras, do they, are they as extensive? Yeah, they are. Panache is a brand that we carry at all times in the shop. Okay, it has won all the awards um, for being one of the best bras out there. Um, so they now have, I suppose, in the last few years, um, launched a brand called Sculptress, and their Sculptress range can go right up to the forty-six back, which okay. is really good. Now Ilomi, see that brand that showed you a while ago, comes from a brand called Ilomi, and they do a wide range of um, sports bras that go up in sizes. So like in the shop, we would start at an A cup and go to the K cup. Um, okay. And we would see that K cup very regularly. If we could go higher than that, we, we would get it. Okay. Um, and from the back size, we start at a 28 back and we go right up to the 46. So we would have 44, 46 in the shop. Um, but what I would say to you is anything above that, then we would have to order in. But you can always come to us 
we can always you know get you fitted get you, you know get we look to see what suits you the best and then i can order it um and, and bring it in for you and um yeah like there's nothing that you know that phases us or nothing that we kind of look and say no we definitely won't have anything we'll always have something and um, we can always find something you know like i do all the buying i see i go to all the buying shows myself and i'm always looking out for something new um and um, but what i'm what i really do concentrate is color I like putting colour yeah. on a fuller cup. I think the confidence that it can give you um, and, the, and the joy of it. Because yeah. lingerie is something that people, some people out there don't like getting fitted for it. They're very nervous. Um, I, think, I think a lot of that goes down to kind of the people feel, I'm like, I'm so big, I won't be able to get a bra to fit me. And I suppose when I first would have gone to you, I would have been in, say, probably a 42 back and, and felt that my answer was going bigger, only like say Marks and Spencers or wherever didn't stock a bigger back than that. Um, but the reality is now I'm wearing a 38 back and I guarantee you I haven't got any smaller, but just the, the fit is like the 38, while initially I put it on, it was tight. That actually is my size as opposed to like the 42s or whatever that I was wearing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like my cup size has changed constantly. Yes. But yes. you know, it, like, so I think, I think people would like, people would come in and they'd say, oh, but sure. Like they wouldn't be a back big enough. That's why I have to, I go and I get like size 50 back and I'm yeah. looking at them and they're not a bigger size than me. And I'm thinking, I don't know that you are a 50, but I'm not, you know, and I always yeah. would advise them get fitted properly because I think that's where an awful lot of us have got cut out. We, we go bigger on the back mm. as opposed to actually looking at maybe it's the cup. Yeah. And that's it. We yeah. always change the back. Uh, and, I, and I see it every day in the fitting room. Everybody, the minute they come in, actually, I don't think anybody ever talks about the cup. Everybody goes, I, Bridget, I think I need a bigger back. Yeah. Or even if I have fitted them and we'll just say they've lost a half stone or they've put on a half stone or whatever it may be, they'll come in and say, Bridget, I think my back needs to be changed. And what, what it is, like, we, we also have to think, like, you know, us women, we go up and down in weight. We have our monthlies. We go through the menopause, which can create... Um, three to four cup sizes of a difference you know if, okay if somebody is there today and next thing they're thinking god why is my breast gone so big or you know why is it changed like the menopause can change your breast size by three to four cup sizes um and so it's the cup that needs to be changed and not the back so if you find a bra that's tight on you now the thing is when you go into a fishing room so if you come into us in the morning we will show you the rights and wrongs of a bra you like you know some people who come in to me and say oh Bridget, I'm so sorry I'm not wearing a bra that's right like you're not supposed to come in in a good fitted bra to me because you know <laughs> you I don't want to be there <laughs> yeah exactly so I'd have no business if somebody, everybody came in in a proper fitted bra so that's the first thing I'd say to everybody the worse bra the better so that I can teach you what it's like to be in a good fitted bra and yeah. what's the rights and what's the wrong of a bra so like if the bra doesn't sit in against your chest bone right the bra okay. has to sit in there it has to be firm in your I'm, I'm checking like, here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it would better be Rosemary <laughs> or I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, when you put your hand at your back like that, like an awful lot of people can feel their bra strap there. So you like as in the back of it, as in where the yes. support is. That means it's yeah. not rising all the way up your back. So that's wrong. Okay. okay. It needs to be down, way down in your back. Okay. The, the um, again, needs to sit right in against your, your, your breast. And um, sorry, I was just reading something that came in there. Um, yeah. So basically, um, somebody was yeah. saying they're going through the menopause and they're going to come down to you. And what I would say to that to, to Deirdre here, the lady who's just messaged, it is well worth a trip. Like literally, and there's a couple of really good restaurants as well. There are coffee shops yeah. you can pop into, and make the trip really worth it. Yeah, well. absolutely. I, I mean, like the day I went to you, that was one of the best decisions I ever made, to be honest, with you, because yeah. it changed everything for me, you know, it, it does. And I'm, I suppose I'm really passionate about for that yeah. reason. I, I just love when somebody and that's why I'm always saying to everybody like, you know, like nearly some people will go and get a bra before they come into me so that they're in a good bra. You know, don't do that. The worse bra, the better. I want you to come into me and I want you to experience, you know, an awful lot of us have not experienced what it's like to get a good bra, you, yeah. you know, like, I suppose what I would say, you know, you, you have to be fitted. When we're younger and we're buying shoes, aren't we always, isn't there always somebody there to fit the shoe on us? Yeah, true, true. Right? Yeah. And so, like, I have 30-year-olds and 40-year-olds that have never been fitted, whatever age yeah. they are, um, being fitted for a bra. And so that's why I'm saying to you, you can't just be handed a bra 
we have to be there to fit you because yeah. it's your back, it's your cup size, it's your chest, it's where it sits on you. You know, sometimes we're shorter from our shoulder to our breast. So it does, you know, uh, everybody... And I interrupted you there, Bridget. Where should the back of it be sitting on you again? Sorry. So level to the front. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So fairly Not level. Rising. So as the bra wears and tears, then she will start to rise a little bit. Okay. Um. Uh, and yeah, but fairly level to the front. So where the front of the wire is, as you kind of travel around to the back, I'm even checking my own now. When you yeah. travel around to the back, the, br the, the bra should be down that far. A bra should not be up high. And you know the straps on your shoulders? Yes, probably your baby. Yeah, so the adjustment of that should never be sitting on the top of your shoulder. Because if, if it sits on the top of your shoulder there, so when you're yeah. making the adjustments, if it's sitting on the shoulder there, you're pulling up the back of that bra. Um, okay. So then you either have it too tight or it's gone very um, loose in you. Yeah. Somebody has said here, um, they're very um, cautious of my weight gain and that is the, uh, that's why she hates me. For it. Look, when you go to the doctor, the doctor isn't even looking at any part of you. And I'm kind yeah. of nearly the same. We walk into the fitting room and all we want is to get you in a good bra. It's yeah. like somebody telling me they haven't shaven their, underneath their armpits. Sure, I haven't even noticed. We don't notice these things. <laughs> Honest to God, we don't. You go, we go into the fit room. We're like robots nearly sometimes. We go in there. We look at the breast. We take off the bra. We um, So when you come into us, you, you are brought into the fit room. We ask you to um, take off the top and leave on your old bra. And so we talk you through your old bra. You know, if it doesn't sit out, this is why it should be in here. Or, you know, it should be lower down at the back. We kind of give you a little bit of advice. We leave the fitting room. I go get the bra. I don't even ask you what kind of a bra you want at this stage. I go out and I get a bra that I think is suitable for your shape. I mm -hmm. come back in and I put it on you. And that's it. That yeah. is nearly it. And, and I've seen it even at the fitting room or even at the, we'll say at the counter when they're leaving us. They look at us and they kind of say to us, you know that I walked the street about 10 times before I came in here and oh, yeah. I can't believe it. And that, that, that's exactly it. I get that feeling. I get so happy and so proud that you did come in and you yes. did get fitted. Because yeah. that's what I say. This isn't about looking at your tummy or looking at anything. We do not care. What, I'm, what I care about is that when you go back out into that street or when you go out on a night out and you put on that dress and that top, that I've given you that little bit of inner confidence and that I made you feel uplifted and that the bra that you bought off me was worth more than anything. Yeah. And, yeah, that's, no, and that's, and that is, I think, I think that's just like, that's all anybody who's in the service industry wants. They want somebody to go out and feel really good about themselves yes. as a result of them being with you and spending that time with you. Yeah. Um, you when you said there about that you'll go in, you'll go back into the fishing room and you'll put the bra on. Is there a particular way we should be putting our bras on to make sure that we're in situ properly? <laughs> yeah, I think um, you have to dress yourself into your bra. Um, yeah. So we all have a habit of, because it's something that's, you know, not overly important to everybody, but it should be. And so we need to dress ourselves. So some people fall into the bra, put the breast into the cup, fall into it and then tie it at the back and then put on your straps. And yeah. some people can keep standing straight and tie the back first lift yourself in you know and then put on your straps or put on your straps and lift yourself in and um, you do have to actually give yourself that five seconds or ten seconds to get yourself into the bra so that you're in it right because if you have been in a proper fitted bra and you don't dress yourself into it right it will be a little bit uncomfortable so again it needs to sit against the chest bone lifting the breast in and um and uh, you know give it just basically lifting the breasts in so that they're in their cups, each breast to its own cup. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's really kind of how okay. you put your bra on. How you care for your bra is no wash machine and hand wash, Rosemary, okay. right? Yes, yes, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I suppose at the end of the day, we are spending good money on bras. Um, like, yes. you know, if, if a dress said dry clean, we dry clean it. You know yeah. I mean? So like when the bra says hand wash, we are spending, like, I mean, you know, some of the bras, like like that, I mean, I probably have more than the three at this stage, but, you know, when you're paying maybe 50 euro for a bra, yeah. you want it to get, you want to get the value out of it, you want to get, so it is up to us to, to make sure that we're taking care of it, I suppose. You know, the and plus, Rosemary, we wear it more than any other piece of product um, yeah. in the wardrobe. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we, we really do. We put like a bra... It's the, what, it's the first thing we put on us every, every morning. Every single day. You know, so 50 yeah. euros... It is an initial expense, but it's nothing yeah. in the long run 
of things because it's something we wear all the time. But it also opens up a lot more clothes to you as well because when yeah, you've got the right hugely. bra, you'll, you'll see things sitting a lot better. And then yeah. the top that you were like not really wearing because it wasn't great in you now actually kind of is great. And it, like because the underwear, the foundation of it is proper, you know, that's kind of, I think, isn't it what it is? Yeah, you know? like before Christmas, I had a mother of a bride rang me um, and she was devastated. She couldn't fit into her dress. She had too many visitors, right? She <laughs> panicked and she rang me and I said to her, right, let's just go into the shop. Maybe, you know, she was a bit in the panic and I said to her, listen, come into the shop when there's nobody there, I'll meet you after hours, right? Um, she's somebody that I knew that had I had fitted for years. And when she brought in the dress, yes, it was just that little bit tight, right? But like as I said earlier, one bra doesn't go with everything and one style in the shop, you know, it's not the same style across the board. Um, and so you, like our price range starts from, we'll say 36 euro and it goes right up to 110. Okay. So this particular lady needed that ex more expensive one because the side panels that I was talking about earlier, they can get heavier, you know, like a heavier side panel to really push the breast in. Still okay. giving you a beautiful shape. It's not pushing everything out to the front, but making that shape a little bit easier. And then which shape were underneath? The whole thing just zipped up lovely. So that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's what a bra can do. And, and, and people panic sometimes when they get into their dresses. Change the style of bra. Change, you know, if you feel that you're putting a bra on you today, you bought a dress and it doesn't fit, maybe bring the dress with you into our fitting room and we'll fit to work to get the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just somebody just commented there, do you need an appointment to get fitted? No, you don't. Um, we're open Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, we're all, you know, we're, there's, there's, um, you know, we're like, I'm not on on probably on a Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. Um, but I'm, it I'm doesn't there matter, Bridget, because no. all of the girls are brilliant. Like, I, you know, every single you fitted me the very first time, but ever yeah. since then I've been fitted by the other girls. Yeah, and, and they're all brilliant. Every yeah, single one of them, matter, yeah. you know. No, and because I've trained, and you know, I've trained them all. They've all been with me years to see as well. So we've seen every back and cup size that we, you know, what I mean that we need to see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're open from Monday to Saturday. We don't up Sundays or bank holiday Mondays. Okay, and just I suppose the other thing, which a lot, of, which you know, when when we're in the fitting room, we say to people, look, I, I would recommend you get a good bra, go to Bridget and Belfair, and then they say, oh God, that's Kilkenny. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to Kilkenny, or I don't, you know, I I just wouldn't have a way of going, or whatever it might be. Um, but you, I know, because you've helped me on this one as well, um, you have a different way of doing things as well if somebody can't get you. Yeah, so we have been doing this for years, actually. Um, so what I would say to you is that this is based on our own product. This is based on me knowing my brand and my sizes inside out and upside down. So if you are the person that has cleaned out their drawer today and they've realized that you've no bras left, right? You can send me a picture of you in a bra. Now, leave out your head, okay? So it's <laughs> literally just from the top, you know, just from your, your neck, just to below the, the bra. Leave on your bra, send me a picture of you in it, back and front. Just tell me what size you're in. I'll go through it with you and I'll suggest a size, but based on our product. So for example, if somebody comes into me and they're a fuller cup and I suggest the Morgan 40G, the Morgan is my favorite bra, by the way. Sorry. It's everyone's, yeah. It's everyone's favorite bra. Um, yeah. You know, and there's a beautiful new color out, out, in, out at the moment in it. Um, but um, yeah, if, if I say to you, it's the Morgan 40G, that is not going to work in a brand on stores or in Debenhams or so on and so on. That is for that style. And so that's kind of something that, you know, because people can send me a message and say, what size am I? And then I'll say 34E and then they go and they try and buy one and then you, they come back, but it didn't fit. It doesn't work. That's, you know, this is for my because, product. Yeah, like whether, if you get the Alomi or you get the Panache or you get whatever. They're all different. It, yeah, and I've seen that too in that when you go into a different brand, you're going to yeah. be in a different size bra. Yeah, yeah. and because like sometimes colour can be different. But the black can be quite different as well. Um, it, can, it can fit tighter actually than a lot of, uh, okay. in some of the brands. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you can send us, you know, on all our social media, Instagram, Facebook, you can get us on info at belfemlingerie.ie. Um, you know, just send us any questions you have um, at the moment. Like, you know, I might get back to you straight away, but I will get back to you in the evening time. I'm doing all the kind of work at the evening time. I have three young kids now at home, so I do the work 
in the evening time. Um, and um, yes, yeah, send your picture and I can ha I'm happy to, you know, advise. We're not doing any posting at the moment, though, Rosemary, as per our like ourselves, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so we stopped all posting y yesterday. Um, but when we get back up and running, you know, we can send out, you know, and we can we'll communicate with our customers now, but if you want some product, we can send it out to you later. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really kind of us in a nutshell. Yeah. That's so it's, it's kind of good, like, to have that communication now because, um, you know, when we all back open back up, there'll probably be a certain element of kind of madness that goes on at that stage because everyone will be catching up on things. So yeah. it might be worth having the conversation now when people are free to, to, yeah. to do it and to, to work it out. Um, but no, I suppose the reason I wanted to have, have you on, Bridget, really, was because I know you're so passionate about brass, like literally <laughs> just like so, so passionate about it. And it's, it's fantastic to see. And I know as well, the effect that a good bra has because yes. like for us you know you can have the most beautiful dress in the whole wide world but if the underwear isn't correct under it between yourself like in in, in the bra side and Rita in a chair you know that that sorts out underneath and then any dress you know can mm -hmm. can get its full potential on somebody do you know what I mean and it's um, and I know myself just like you know I, I, I felt I was huge in a bra like I just I felt like oh my god like you know um you know, I just felt I, I was huge. And when I went to you and realised, actually, you're 38 back, that kind of sounds normal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It sounds like it's, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's fairly, you know, it's fairly normal. And that, but that's our, kind of nice our... to hear. <laughs> yeah, it is nice to hear. But our everyday size, and I think this is important, you know, we, we all kind of, I do a lot of shows and I often ask at the show, what size are you wearing? You know, put up a show of hands, people are in 36C. It's frightening. It's absolutely frightening the amount of people are in 36C, 38 double D and 40 double D. It's like we don't go beyond the double D. Yeah. Like we have A, B, C, D, double D, E, F, double F, G, double G, H, double H, J, double J and K. That's, you know, that's where the sizes go to. My everyday fitting, and you asked me this the other night on the phone, yeah. what's my everyday fittings you know what's the size they should never really be oh definitely rosemary it's this size yeah there is a few of them so like i fit 32 h every day 34 e and 34 f and i also fit 36 double h 38 double h and 40 g and double h and 40 double h now that's a variety of sizes yeah. but if i was to sit down at a buying table in the morning and i had to say okay this, these, I have to start with these sizes. What I named out there is really what I would have to buy first. And and you would have heard there that there's very few 36C that, you know, I didn't really mention the 36C there. Yeah. Um, you know, where for the neater cup, yes, we would have 32B, we would have, you know, like 32B, 34B, you know, 36C is just, when somebody comes into the shop to me and they'd say, no, I don't want to get fitted, I'm a 36C. I can guarantee you, you will not leave the shop without me fitting you because there is no way. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, I, I'm always, it's a, it rings alarm bells in my head every time I hear 36C and 40 double D. Yeah. 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 Um, I just noticed as well, there's somebody just asked, um, is there a particular product you'd recommend for washing bras in? Now that we're all going to be washing them in the sink. Yeah, so um, we have a product. Um, so like if you have one bra and, you know, you come into me and you buy one bra and, you, you know, your budget is for the one bra, go home and wash it in the sink with lukewarm water um, and maybe a little bit. Sometimes there's a little blue fleck in detergents that can discolor like a white bra. So okay. like a non-bio product maybe or something like that. Um, and then if you've bought a few of them, I would highly recommend um, investing in um, the product that we have called Soak. Okay. It's brilliant. You, you can use it for all your hand wash stuff, your jumpers or, what, you know, whatever you have that you have to hand wash. Okay. It's brilliant. It's a, it's, you know, it's a nice size bottle. You just use a cap full of it um, and um, it works fantastically. You just let awesome. it soak and because and an awful lot of us wear fake tan as well. So we do need that little extra yeah. something to give it a bit of a scrub. And um, we do. Yeah. Um, but soak is brilliant. You know, that's available okay. on our online shop anyway as well. You know, go into our, our, our shop. It's not, what I would say to you is go into our website. There, not everything is up there because we can't um, yes. but go in and have a look and see the colors or see the sizes and so on and so on we have um, a sale shop on our website that you might be able to pick up a nice pair of slippers nightwear whatever but go in and have a look but to bear in mind it isn't the shop so we don't have everything yeah. up so yeah. you know to, to have the experience and to understand it yeah come down to Kilkenny there is beautiful boutiques there is beautiful cafe restaurants there's beautiful everything down there yeah. um yeah. and uh, and we can give you the experience of being fitted 
And even if they can't get down, it's definitely worth sending in the pictures to you yeah. because that will make a difference. Yeah, yeah, hugely. Yeah, absolutely. Look at Bridget, you are a wealth of information. You really are. <laughs> My God, what I am um, and you might even have converted me to hand washing. <laughs> now there you go. I'll um I'll have to send you up a few soak samples. Yeah, that night, absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but look, thank you so much, Bridget. It's, it was great to have you on. Um, thank and you for having look, me. Ho hopefully we'll all be a little bit more uplifted. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And Rosemary, just remember as well, we do swimwear. Um, oh, yeah. A lot of people yeah. will actually ask about that. We do um, swimwear. And again, swimwear fits very different to a bra. Um, so okay. to bear that in mind. Um, but okay. we do cater for all sizes in swimwear. Um, and we bring it in from Panache and we bring it in from Elomi as well. So again, all I'd say to you is if you don't see something in the shop or we don't have something or you don't see it on our website, just pick up the phone. We do not bite. Um, and we will look after you. Brilliant. All right. Look, at, thanks so much, Bridget. Thanks, Rosemary. Brilliant. Brilliant to have you on. Thank you. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Yeah. So look, that was Bridget from Belle Femme. Um, look, at, as always with all of these Tempt Talks, I'm learning something new every day. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Um, and we'll do another Tempt Talk uh, later on this week. I'm hoping for, I think, Friday. So look, have a, have a great day. And if you're at nothing else today, maybe hand wash some of your brass. Talk to you soon. Bye.